Last month, Proton announced their new password manager they're calling Proton Pass. Proton is well known for their generous free VPN plan, so I wanted to see what Proton Pass had to offer. How does it compare to Bitwarden and other password managers? I was immediately intrigued by the fact that Proton Pass is open source. Well, kind of open source. Right now, they've released the code for their clients, like their iOS app and Android app, but they haven't released the code for the server-side functionality. This means that you can't self-host Proton Pass on your own server like you could with other open source options like Bitwarden. But even the client-side code being open source is a great display of confidence from Proton that they believe in the security of their product. I also like that Proton Pass is innovating with standout features like the ability to generate email aliases for log Instead of entering your primary email address in a website and giving that data where it can be sold or end up on some email list till the end of time, ProtonPass can generate a unique email address that you only use on that website and then that email forwards to your primary email address. So if the email that Proton generates ever gets on some list or gets sold and you're getting spammed, you can just disconnect that email. Now, ProtonPass has a respectable free plan with unlimited logins and notes, unlimited syncing between devices and use of up to 10 hide my email aliases. The paid plan for now is $12 a year, but this is part of some launch promo. I don't know how long the promo will go for or what the real pricing will look like once the promotion is over, so take the pricing with a grain of salt. The paid plan is also included as part of Proton Unlimited, so if you already subscribe for Proton VPN and Proton Mail, you can enjoy Proton Pass at no additional cost. And speaking of no additional cost, you should hit that subscribe subscribe button and click the bell because it's totally free and you'll get notified when I make new videos. When I started testing Proton Pass, I was instantly bothered by the fact that there's no desktop apps or web vault. The only way to access your vault is through the browser extensions or the iOS and Android apps. Proton says they are working on desktop apps for Windows, Mac, and Linux, and for now, Mac users can download the iPad app if you have an Apple Silicon Mac, but this is definitely not ideal, so I hope to see Proton release these apps soon. I was also wigged out by the lack of a master password. Proton Pass uses the same email and password as all of your other Proton services. So the same login you use for Proton VPN and Proton Mail. In theory, you could choose a strong, memorable password and treat it like a master password, and you absolutely should if you're going to be using Proton Pass. But something about this just feels funny. I'm used to a master password being a dedicated, sacred password that only applies to my vault. And the fact that I would use the same password to log into my VPN and email address, it feels really wrong. You can enable two-factor authentication, but like some of the other password managers I've tested, ProtonPass requires you to enable app-based two-factor authentication in order to pair a security key. I don't understand this logic. Since your account is only as strong as your weakest link, app-based two-factor authentication is essentially the strongest security you're going to have. I would prefer to be able to pair a security key and make that the only method of two-factor authentication for my vault. Now, I was able to import my vault data easily, but at this point, ProtonPass only imports logins and notes. There's also no support for credit card numbers and autofilling those yet, and as of now, there's no sharing or team features. As you can see, there's a lot of features missing in ProtonPass. The absolute essentials like data syncing, and autofilling fields are supported, and they do support custom fields, but unfortunately, custom fields can't be autofilled. In 1Password, I'm able to use a custom field to autofill my last name on airline sites that require it upon login, but the same scenario in ProtonPass doesn't autofill that field. ProtonPass says they're working on these features and more, but who knows how long it's going to take to see them get implemented. The features ProtonPass does have worked well. Autofilling worked flawlessly on the Brave extension, and the iOS app, and I was able to search my vault easily and find what I was looking for. ProtonPass is just a basic password manager, and until more features are added, there's not really much to say about it. I really wish it supported passkeys. Proton says they are going to support it when they become more relevant, but since passkeys are so early and going mainstream, they're not going to put resources into it now. I think this is the wrong attitude for a security company. I really appreciate the mindset of companies like 1Password who have already implemented support for 
pass keys so that users will adopt it and this is ultimately going to lead to pass keys going mainstream. By Proton waiting around to implement this feature, they're essentially waiting on other security companies to lead the way and then they'll add it when they finally decide that they're mainstream enough. I don't agree with this approach, but Proton is clearly doing the best they can with the resources they have. I appreciate the hide my email alias feature as this is not something I've seen in another password manager. You can generate a unique email address when creating a new login and use that in place of giving the site your primary email. The email forwarding is quick and it's worked flawlessly in my experience. My biggest concern with this feature is that users might feel stuck with ProtonPass if they ever want to switch to another password manager in the future. This is because if you ever choose to downgrade to the free plan, you have to disable enough email aliases until you're using 10 or less, otherwise they're not going to let you downgrade. And that means logging into all your accounts where you've used email aliases and changing it back to your primary email. And that's not exactly an easy process. I love the concept of the email alias feature, but I wish it was uncoupled from ProtonPass, so if you ever wanted to switch to a different password manager, you could pay a small yearly fee to maintain access to those email aliases. So is ProtonPass good enough to make the switch? As a premium password manager, I just don't think it's there yet with the features. Unless you really want the email alias feature or you're already a Proton Unlimited subscriber, I would not pay for the premium version. But as a free password manager, ProtonPass would be my new recommendation for an easy, simple to use option. There are more feature rich and capable free options like Bitwarden, but the UI is confusing and I don't think it's easy for the average beginner and ProtonPass is much more straightforward. ProtonPass is simple and it's going to be great for anyone who doesn't have complex needs for a password manager. If you just want a straightforward app to keep track of your usernames and passwords, ProtonPass is for you. However, there are a lot of neat features missing that you'll find in other password managers. So check out my other video on the top password managers to see what's missing here.